The appointment of the 91-year-old former Vice President Moody Awori as a sports fan board member has sparked mixed reactions among Kenyans, with some even questioning President Uhuru Kenyatta as to why he had to appoint Awori, leaving behind young people, yet they are the majority who are not employed. However, yesterday Kenyatta defended the appointment, saying he'd rather work with old people because he wants them to safeguard the money. Was he justified or not? Uh, I don't think it's true. Vijana si si ati wao ndio naiba pesa. In fact, wazeni ndio naiba pesa. Vijana, they are trying their best to earn that uh, a living, but si ati no easy. Yeah, wazeni in fact ndio naiba. Vijana ni kutafuta na tafuta because hakuna jobs na jobs mengi ni mayuzi ndio na tafuta. I don't think the president is justified to employ old people in the, in the disguise that the young people are thieves. Because I'm pretty sure that these old people, they're going to die maybe in the next five, ten years, right? The young people will still be here. So probably they would have been uh, in, absorbed in the government and taught probably how not to steal. But don't tell me that uh, old people are there because the young people are stealing. It's not justifiable. His president's main interest is service to the people, service to the people. Who can give him good service? This man, at his age of 91, is sincere to the people. He akunele utu anataka kupeana service usudi at least aujishi kwamba anaweza uze siyo kilema uze just age. It doesn't mean that you zeka, sasa kichwa ina zeka, apana. The older you become, the wiser you become. So this man, even if, even if he becomes a president, it would be much better than this people. Because after we use now and dogo dogo in, he's not interested. So I think the president was right. Um, for me, I don't think it's justified, because there's a lot of unemployment, especially the young youth. And whereby you see corruption is happening in the country, and where you can see it's not the youth who, when you point fingers at, it's not the youth. It's the old people. Because they're the ones in government, they're the ones running everything right now. So I don't think it's justified for him to say that us young people are the ones who are stealing money. And yet we're not even seeing those funds. You know, we're told funds are on this, uh, we're going to CDF. There's funds, look at the NYS scandal, for example. It's gone like we've just been taken left, right and center. No one is actually telling us the truth. And whereas none of us youth have seen any money, youths are out here, they are stressing, guys are looking for jobs, guys have graduated, guys have masters, guys have PhDs, degrees, but there's no employment in this country. Udi awali akosawa, tisha wana wekine wanapewa, wanaenda peze ya olimpiku, wanaenda na kila kitu wanaiba. Na hapa ni the history ya watu wale, eji titaze ya tibata kwaza. Miaka haijarishi. Kila kinajarishi ni hile iko kwa akiri. Hii watu wa zamani wa hawaja zoya kukura peza hovyo hovyo. Mwuzee moja tu diyo muna shide mkiri ati ya wori ya wori. Ya, ah, it is too bad. Hata mi nikipewa kazi. Hata wa wakipewa kazi. Sita iko hapi. Sasa, eh, vile ya rifanya, vile ya rifanya, vile ya pointi mudi ya wori, upade yagu siyesi yona baya hapo. Ju bora, kitu ya muimu, ni mtu ya perform. Hile, hile jute ya mepewa. So, so yes, ni, miaka ina shida. Eje suggest a number. Bora tu ya perform kazi na tunafikiria ataweza.